So today we're going to be replacing this lally column. The reason for it is we've got some cracks in the in the seam down here as you can see. So we're just going to set up some temporary jack posts on either side to take the weight off and then we'll take this column out. So we're going to replace this column now and there's another way that you can take out the column you can use a, a diamond blade on that grinder and uh, we can cut through the steel. Now the column's out. You can see down at the bottom there, there's still some cleanup that we got to do to get that base plate back on there. Medic, medic. People are going to watch the video. Now that we got the column out, we just flushed up the floor so we can start installing the column. Oh, no. Just slide that plate off, leaving those two screws up there. We're going to attach that plate onto our column. So now we're just attaching the cap plate onto the top of the column with the screw that's applied with the plate. So we drill the holes in. As you see, we put the little plastic from the wrapping on top there to give a little space in between the screws and the steel. All right, so now we're gonna lift the column up to those two screws, and we're gonna slide it over. Now it's locked into place. Now we're gonna put the other two screws into the small portion.
Alright, now we're going to put the adjustable base set down at the bottom. So, now we're going to adjust the adjustable screws on the base plate here. And we're going to get the column plumb. So now we're going to look at a level that's on the plumb, on the, uh, on the column. Get the column plumb. Yeah, well, do those first two first. Just make sure we got a nice snug fit. Now you got a snug fit. Now you're going to screw the other two into the threaded portion down on that bearing plate. adjustable base set is securely in place and now we're just going to grout underneath there and that is it. What we're going to do now is just pack underneath that void that's underneath the bearing plate and the base plate. This is done, it's not for the structural integrity of the column or the adjustable base set, it's just so nobody adjusts the column afterwards and uh, we don't want moisture getting at the adjustable screws. So, like you see, it's just a uh, a drier mix of cement so you can just pack it underneath there just uh, fill that void with, uh, with that concrete mix now that we got the plate all grouted out we're just putting some Tapcon concrete screws right into the footing we drilled uh, 3 holes into it so we could get those screws fastened in there and then that is it.